Welcome to another edition of Mike Ferry TV. My name is Tony Smith, stepping in for Mike today, and I'm thrilled to present a few thoughts today that might be of interest to you. Well, here we are the week of November 13th. It's that time of year that the competition is somewhere else. They have completely disappeared from what they're trying to do. Uh, they're out shopping, they're out doing something, but what we know is they're not selling real estate, okay? So this is your golden window. Have you decided exactly how many days you're gonna work between now and the end of the year? Have you decided how many listings you're gonna take for yourself between now and the end of the year? Keep those thoughts in front of you and just see if you can push through the finish, okay? How important is it today to have self-confidence when it comes to selling real estate? Would you say self-confidence is an important thing today? I wrote this down, especially today with the internet and the, you know, all these things that have come up over the years with all the things that are happening this time of year, the NAR stuff, everything that's going on, having self-confidence today is a big deal. You know, I was talking with a long, long-term Mike Ferry agent, uh, and we were talking about the changes over the years. And he said, I can remember back, his name's Mike Darda, by the way, he said, I can remember back when the internet came on scene with, with sales and the world believed that the real estate industry was going to crumble because of the internet. And then we came to the do not call laws came in and everybody said the real estate industry is going to crumble because nobody can find business anymore. And then Zillow and all the uh, online lead purchase stuff came on and the real estate industry is going to crumble. Well, the things going on today, in my opinion, is another example of that type of thing. If you can keep your head in the game, you can win. But self-confidence is going to be a big part of it moving forward. Mike Ferry himself, in his mid-20s, decided that he needed to come up with a planned system for learning for himself. Now, I don't know about you, but I don't know many people in their mid-20s that are that sure about creating something for themselves. A planned system for learning? Okay, well, if you want self-confidence, look at this little quote. A lack of strong personal motivation opens the door for self-doubt. A, lo a lo lack of strong personal motivation opens the door for self-doubt. Now, if you want to take that a step further, a lack of self-development opens the door for self-doubt. So if you want to build confidence, here's a few little thoughts that you might take into effect, especially this time of year. The first thing I wrote down, create a strong routine for daily affirmations. A strong routine for daily affirmations. You know, I'll often joke it in front of a group of agents and say, raise your hand if you do affirmations every day. And a few agents will raise their hand. And then I'll ask everybody to raise your hand. Please, everybody raise your hand. Everybody raise their hand. And I will then say, I didn't say positive affirmations. Okay, if you're not creating positive affirmations for yourself, some of the negative affirmations or the negative influence are going around in your brain anyway. Pick the positive. I wrote down two. Work daily on improving your overall presentation. Boy, if you want more self-confidence, work daily on improving your overall presentation. The way you dress, your handshake, are your shoes shine? Do you have a big smile on your face? Is your car clean? Is your office clean? If you work daily on your presentation, your confidence goes up. I wrote three, learn the answers to the objections you receive. There's nothing that builds confidence more than knowing what to say. And if you can handle the objections that you receive every day selling real estate, confidence, they're not going to change. We're going to receive the same objections next, next year as we got this year. Can you finally learn the answers? It's a confidence builder. Look at four. Dress professionally every day, not just on the days when you have an appointment. Right? So if you put on a great business suit, a suit and tie gentleman, if you put on a great business out outfit, ladies, your confidence goes up by the way you dress. You know, if you have a t-shirt and jeans on and you don't get out of your pajamas in the morning, you're not, you don't have confidence. So I would ask you from now to the end of the year to dress professionally every day. It's a work day. Look at five. Create a simple, direct business plan for 2024. Those of you that are in coaching, now I know you're working with your coach, I hope, in getting your business plan created for yourself. If you need direction, if you need to have a pathway forward, a business plan is often the answer. If you don't know where you're going, it, it gives a, a self-doubt. If you have a plan that you can look at every day, then your confidence starts to grow. 
I added to it, you probably should create little weekly mini plans. Every week, create a little mini plan for the week. Direction gives us confidence. If we know where we're headed, we're confident. How about six? Keep your work and your home environment clutter-free, distraction-free. Maybe it's time to clean up that desk. Maybe it's time to clean out that closet. Maybe it's time to clean up your garage. Why not take the time and clear all the clutter out of your environment? It helps build confidence. When's the last time you did a thorough cleaning on that desk of yours? Are you getting buried by the papers in there? I hope not. Clean up your environment. Seven. Pre-qualify 100% of the appointments you go on. Boy, if you can recognize the connection between confidence and pre-qual, if you know everything you need to know about the seller, what objections they may have, where they're going, how much they owe on the property, if they're interviewing any other agents, if you know all these things, naturally you're going to be more confident. If you don't pre-qualify, you might get blindsided when you get to the house. It's a confidence builder. Look at eight. Decide two or three of the most important reasons why someone should hire you. If you don't decide, nobody's going to decide for you. What are the two or three reasons why you feel that someone should hire you over the competition? What is it? Is it that you follow a great schedule? Is it that you work for a company that's been here for 30 years? Is it that you prospect? Is it that you know the market statistics? Uh, is it if you have great communication with your clients? What is it? If you don't decide what separates you, no one else is going to decide for you. And the minute you decide, your confidence goes up. I wrote down number nine, get very clear on what you do to sell homes. Since time began, the sellers have always wanted to know four things. How much is my home worth? How much am I going to net? How long is it going to take? And what are you going to do to get it sold? We have a little thing called a plan of action. The plan of action is a detailed list of steps that you take to get your home sold. The sooner you can figure out exactly what you do to sell homes, and the sooner you can deliver that list to the seller in an effective way, confidence builder. No one can ever corner you and, and ask you what you do and you don't have an answer, okay? I wrote down 10, reduce the amount of time you spend on social media. Now, why is that a confidence builder? One thing we know is that if you spend a lot of time on social media, it oftentimes puts you in a position where all you're doing is comparing yourself to others. Well, they're just going on a great vacation. They just took four listings. They're having dinner at a fancy restaurant. What about me, right? And all that social media interaction, uh, it's been proven that can oftentimes be uh, not a confidence builder. So I wrote limit the amount of time you could probably cut 20, 30% out of the amount of time you spend on social media and it would be good for you this time of year. And then number 11, start your days with goals and gratitude and finish your days with wins and accomplishments. So if you'll start every day and you'll take out a little journal and you'll write down the eight or 10 things that you're grateful for and you'll write down the eight or 10 goals that you're really trying to achieve. And then at the end of every day, if you can finish your day, writing down what is the best thing I accomplished today? What are the wins that I had today? Could you appreciate that the book ends? I start my days with gratitude and goals and I finish my days with wins and accomplishments. If you do that repeatedly, will that build your confidence? We think it will. Okay, so listen, this is the time of the year that if you work when others aren't working, you're gonna win. It's also the time of the year that if you continue to build your self-confidence, when the rest of the world is pushing their self-confidence down, you're gonna win, okay? Thanks for spending a little time with me on Mike Ferry TV. Talk to you soon.